My favorite uh, media member, Pat Robertson. Uh, Pat Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your favorite member. <laughs> he said, oh, that's your favorite media member. Okay. Okay. All right, Pat Roberts is being a goofball again. Let's watch. You know, a woman came to a preacher that I know is so funny, and she was awful looking. I mean, her hair was all torn up, and she was overweight and looked terrible with clothes bad and everything. She said, oh, Reverend, what can I do? My husband has started to drink. And the preacher looked at her and said, Madam, if I was married to you, I'd start to drink oh too. My. Um, so the reason why he was recounting that story of that pastor was because they received a question from a 17-year-old who was really upset at the fact that his father was uh, playing too many video games and neglecting his mother. So he's like, what, what can I do about that? And Pat Robertson's uh, response was, it may be your mom isn't as sweet as you think she is. She may be kind of hard-nosed. God, you know, it's Pat Robertson. That's it. He's done. He's done. He's lost all bounds of, like, propriety. And he's like, I'm just going to call it as, that, as it is. Look, some women are brutally ugly. Okay? And he, like, he's been a misogynist his whole life, right? Yeah. But now he's just letting it hang out there. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to uh, wrap this up pretty soon, you know? Uh -huh. Um, and I'm just going to say what I really think. Yeah, women. What do I have to lose? They're hard-nosed. You know how they are. They're a pain in the ass. Your mom's a pain in the ass, okay? <laughs> but Pat lately has been going on the war path, and he's not really distinguishing, and he's not giving much nuance. Of course. I mean, he's saying, like, I mean, you know, some girls are just ugly. What are you going to do, <laughs> right? And you know how women are. I mean, this is kind of a pain in the ass. So that's just generally how they are. So, and this is not the only time he's done it. He's done it over and over. And then he leans over to one of his co Anchors and says, "You watch porn?" Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. He's, he's dirty, dirty. He's going balls to the wall. And make no mistake, as Obama would say, Pat Robertson is definitely a misogynist. There's no question about it. But there is a tiny, tiny bit of truth to what he was saying. And of course, there is nuance. And that wasn't something and, that he and, mentioned. And of course, by the way, it applies to both sides. You think guys don't let it themselves go after they, do, they get married? Definitely, yeah. Come on. So listen to Pat Robertson. No, don't do it. <laughs> but isn't the difference, well, in general, you know, women, yeah. they, they'll deal with their men getting fat or ugly or not taking stuff because women generally stop caring about how a guy looks in the first place. They're like, oh, he's funny, though. I love him. He's and, so and, sexy because no, he's but funny. That's, and that's what Robertson is saying. Robertson's saying, like, look, if your, da if your dad's butt ugly, it doesn't really matter because that's not what your mom's there for anyway. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But that's not fair either because, of course, women are attracted to more attractive men. Obviously, right? So would they prefer that their husband looks good? Of course! Would I mean, they be, do they care a little bit more about personalities, which by the way speaks well of them? Yeah, generally speaking, we think that that's a stereotype that's roughly true, right? But if you think they don't want nice abs and a nice uh, rock hard ass, <laughs> I think you're wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, as you were saying that, I was thinking about how difficult it is to keep, um, you know, your sex life interesting after you get married because it's the same person over and over and over and over again, right? But think about how much more difficult it becomes if that person lets him or herself go, right? Mm -hmm. Then what's the incentive? <laughs> Something different. Yeah, all of a sudden you got a new person. <laughs> all right, here you are, that's yeah.